Hey everyone, Keith Hangen, social media and content creator for Six Marketing, here to talk to you really quick about the F8 annual conference that Facebook just had and what happened on day one where a lot of changes are going to be happening with Facebook in the months to come. So I'm going to try to break down some of the key highlights from it and how they're going to affect you because there's some pretty interesting stuff that's going to be happening. Um, first, the theme of it was privacy, uh, and understandably so after all the privacy concerns and data theft that they've been dealing with in the months, years that have just preceded, uh, what they're going to do, and I'm going to show you first thing, is you can see it already on your mobile device. They've shifted to a now white theme. That isn't just because of rebranding that they're trying to get out this image that a lot of people have, and justifiably so, of Facebook and negativity with their blue logo and things of that nature. But it's also for navigation. And this is going to lead me to point number two. And this is the second major theme of the entire conference was community. Um, I don't know many of you, um, if many of you realize this. A report came out about a year ago where they discovered that Fox News was actually the one getting the most engagement with their posts. Politi political ideologies aside, they were getting the most engagement. And the reason was is because of their divisive content. They realized it. Uh, and a story came out and another story came out and Facebook had to address it and how their algorithms worked and things of that nature. But it was still the fact that divisive content was the content that the majority of people were engaging with. And if those of you who do not know, and it's pretty simple to figure out, when you're creating a post for any business, the number one goal is to get engagement. You want to get as many people as possible to not only click, but to react and to comment. And then that will hopefully lead them to do other things as well and ultimately buy your service or good from your company. So... What has just happened was they're now making it more group based. And what that means is groups are going to start being shown and the groups that you belong to are going to be shown in your new Facebook feed with much more regularity, probably outweighing your friends content. And also feed your feed is going to have a lot more engagement within those groups. So you're more than likely not going to argue with the people that you're already associating with, right? You're going to argue with those people that differ than you. And those typically aren't the groups that you're going to belong to, right? Does that make sense? So what they're also going to do is you know how a lot of us get friend suggestions. You're going to start getting group suggestions. And instead of friend suggestions based off of friends that you have, group suggestions are going to be based off of interests that you have. So if you're interested in mountain biking and you belong to trek mountain bike group or whatever type of group they're also going to say hey we noticed that you like this what do you think about this and so you can be part of more communities because they want engagement and they want to bring people together the opposite of divisive the last one i'm going to go over is i don't know i i'm a little creeped out by this this is and i'm going to put personal testimony aside is facebook dating uh, Facebook dating is going to be essentially, I think, a portal or a tab, and you got to opt in into the group. And by opting in, you now will be able to create, I believe, up to nine secret crushes. So, nine of your friends that you may or may not, you may have a crush on, you list them as a secret crush. Now, if that friend happens to you also join and opt in to Facebook dating and they create their list. Now that friend who you just secret crush, by the way, really quick to go back because I can't tell a story and they're near, is going to be notified that, hey, a friend has a crush on you. If that friend who you have a crush on crushes back on you, then you're going to be notified that, hey, like Tinder or Bumble, you guys swiped right for each other. And that's that. Um, this, I'm trying to just give it to you what has been discussed and things of that nature. So I'm going to put my personal opinion aside. 
this is going to be sketchy. <laughs> anyway, I hope that helps. And it's pretty fun, interesting stuff. Uh, you'll be seeing it. Um, Facebook is also going to have um, Messenger is going to be its own private app now uh, on desktop. And what's cool about that is a lot of us do Google Hangouts for conference calls and things of that nature. You're going to be able to do that on a Facebook Messenger video. So you can have video conference calls from your desktop. Um, and you're going to be able to share videos in real time. So if you're sitting there with your friends having or colleagues or potential client or whatever the case may be conference call and you want to show a video uh, to them of a commercial you've done or for if your friends or something really cool that you just found or something like that, you can both watch it together in real time. But those are the major highlights as it pertains to a lot of the masses. Um, so I hope this helps and I hope this has been fun for you. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks.